Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 America's Winter Championship semifinals between Zen Style and Puffin. My name is Seamus Simus Anderson, and I'll be bringing you the action live from my bedroom. A bit of background info for the viewers who may have just joined us. On the top of the screen, we have Puffin, who won the most recent Innkeeper Showdown tournament and is looking to cement his position as North America's top player. On the bottom of the screen, we've got Zen Style who hasn't had a very strong showing since 2014, but he's made it this far and is looking to take the tournament home to show the fans that he is still a force to be reckoned with. The older veterans of Hearthstone might remember that Zenstyle was one of the first users of Tempo Mage on ladder, and in this fifth and final game of the series, he's using his most played deck against Puffin's Oil Rogue. It's going to be a great matchup for sure, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. I almost hit the confirm button there, but that's not how this works. Anyway, looking at the starting hand, Zen Style, he's got very good hand for Tempo Mage early start. And he's going to draw into another Mana Worm as well off of the Mulligan. So in this particular matchup, obviously in most matchups, Zen Style and the Tempo Mage are just going to try and get Minion Presence on board as soon as possible. The thing is, Oil Rogue is a deck with a lot of answers to minions. You've got your Eviscerates, Backstabs, Saps... Plus the weapons itself, so Puffin Happy is going to be able to Winter deal Vail. with Zen Style's minions for the most part. Throws out the emote, reminding us all to have a happy feast. Now Zen Style drawing into Sorcerer's Apprentice. Interesting. He could play the Mana Worm, coin out the Apprentice to have two 2-3 two, Mana Worms. Like Instead though, he looks like he's going to play the Apprentice and probably not follow up on anything else other than just an attack to face with the Mana Worm. Now Puffin is able to handle these two minions. Let's see how exactly he does it. He's gonna be Prep Eviscerate and then probably summon the Agent. Yup. So this is the Oil Rogue into Tempo Mage matchup. Obviously the primary win condition for Oil Rogue is the burst combo damage with Blade Flurry and Miracle, excuse me, and the Oil and uh, Celsi Deckhand, but the nice thing about the Rogue class is that how many removal cards you have, it forces the opponent to react to what you're playing. And we can see Zen Style forced to play reactively here, plays the Mana Worm, but the thing is, this Mana Worm is being threatened to die. Either the Eviscerate oil or the Oil will take care of it, and even though Puffin wouldn't get the combo off of it, this is the last minion remaining for Zen Style in his hand, and that is not a position the Temple Mage wants to be in. Losing both Mana Worms this mm. early, as well as having one of his low minions dead already uh, with the Sorcerer's Apprentice as well. Puffin's taking some time to think. He probably doesn't want to take any more face damage, because trying to preserve your life total is very important against any sort of mage deck, even if it is Temple Mage. So he is going to clear. It does take a little bit of face damage, but in this situation, still worth, and Zen Style drawing into the mirror image. He's not going to have any real minions. I don't really consider those O2 tokens to be minions, but he could get something good off of mirror entity. We know there's an Azure Drake, and there's also a Sludge Belcher. Puffin going to play that down, no hesitation, but the thing is, that's going to get stolen now. Or copied, I should say. And... This might give Zen Style a way back into this game. He can fireball to clear this Belcher. Um, Trades into the 1 2. The thing is, even now, Puffin still has answers. He drew into his sap. He still has the 4 1 weapon, so he can kill this Belcher without needing to use any of his cards. Drawing into the Lotheb for future turns. That's going to be a great way to lock Zen Style down. And he's going to take the face damage. So it goes down to 21 each. But Puffin still in very firm control. Unstable portal. Let's see what it gets to Zen Style. He needs something good. And whoa! Kel'Thuzad. Pretty good card to draw in general off an unstable portal. Um, very hard minion to get rid of. Especially at 5 mana. It's going to be a very efficient card. However, Puffin is still in firm control of this board. He's going to power up and then probably play the Lotheb as well. He can clear the 1-2 minion as well, so that's... He's 
not too afraid. And the thing is, even though Zen Style has a lot of strong things on board, he's not actually, he doesn't have any threats. Drawing into Azure Drake, he might want to play that and see what else he can get into his hand. But the thing is, he cannot clear this 4-3. He cannot clear this 5-5. Five five. And he has been reacting these past few turns. He has not found a way to deal with Puffin's removal. And that is so good for the Oil Rogue player in this situation. Puffin, he could clear the entire board of Zenstall if he wanted to. It's, at this point, it's just a question of how he does it. He also has the sprint in hand at 7 mana. It's an expensive card to play. Generally, you want to prep it. But in this situation, he can clear the board and get the sprint. So that's going to be a huge card advantage. And this is just one of the issues of tempo decks. You know Zen Style has been playing Tempo Mage for years, but if you are playing on the back foot, you just run out of steam so very quickly. Deadly Poison to give him a 3-2 weapon. Going to attack, clear one of the O2s. Probably going to send a Lothep into the O2s as well. Yep. And then clears the Azure Drake with a Drake of his own. Now, an Arcane Intellect might give Zen Style an out, but the question is, will it be enough? Flame Waker, hmm. Pilot Shredder better but still not particularly great thinking probably about playing this Kel'Thuzad now just to try and have presence on the board but what Zenstyle doesn't know well I guess considering Puffin has a billion cards in hand he probably realizes that there's some amount of removal from Puffin in his hand and yeah there we see this sap coming out I'm ready to learn. Violet Teacher as well means that Puffin is going to be amassing more of board control. And Zen Style taking first damage in the game after eight turns, but this game is so heavily in control of Puffin right now. It's looking very bad for Zen Style. He's actually forced to play his Antoninitis and just get some spells, get some fireballs in his hand as soon as possible. Maybe threatening for damage, try and push lethal in the coming turns, but Puffin drawing into the Blood Mage Thalnos. He's got backstabs in his hands. He's got eviscerates. He probably isn't even afraid of the potential potential counter spell that is that secret. Thalnos goes down. So obviously that's not a mere entity. And yeah, the first backstab is gonna be countered. But I think it's probably just gonna be a backstab eviscerate combination just gonna be able to clear this Antonitis off that boosted damage from the Thalnos, and yikes. Puffin's board control is absolutely massive. Oh, interesting. So it looks like instead of using that Eviscerate, he's gonna be using his Blade Flurry, which was boosted off of the Thalnos. That's one extra step spell damage, and then he's gonna Dagger Mastery, and maybe use the Eviscerate as well. So Puffin is just going all in here, pushing for as much damage he can as he can. Zenstall now to his 6 health. It's Mirror Image, which might delay the game depending on where it hits. Flame Waker now. He's got to kill these 1-1s. One okay, there's two dead. Mirror Image might be able to kill two more, and the power is going to get rid of one. Doesn't clear everything. And at this point, Medivh, I don't know. I think Valera might be able to stop you. Puffin probably just gonna play this boom down since there's really he could heal bot if he's really afraid, but I don't think there's any possible combinations of cards that could actually take him down from 19 health. I'm Preparation, ready to interesting. Is he gonna play Flurry? It looks like he is. I am ready to learn. Pushing even more damage now. Zen Style to 5 HP. And Puffin going to be able to clear Zen Style's board as well. So at this point, especially with a boom box as insurance, if they die, damage will be dealt to Zen Style. I don't know if Zen Style can take away, find a way to win this game. Cone of Cold, ah, it's not going to be enough. He's not going to be able to kill all of Zen or all of Puffin's board. And the boom box hitting nothing the face, can, two damage, two nothing. health remaining. Zen Style has done a Happy fantastic job Winter to come this far in the America's Winter Championship, but My sincerest apologies. unfortunately for him, his journey ends here. 
Nothing, nothing Happy can Feast stop of Wintervale. Me. Nothing. And that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Puffin in the fifth and final game takes down Zen Style, and he will face off against Mike Morheim in the Winter's Championship Grand Finals. All right, so obviously that was my uh, So You Think You Can Cast first one recording. Thank you very much. Any Blizzard folks who are watching this and anyone else, I would appreciate any feedback y'all have for me. But otherwise, have a great day. Bye-bye.